that we have to understand. And also sometimes we think that what I have to do with this masjid. I'm not part of that group. Correct? Even with that part of group, no, they are doing fine. I, I, I go to the masjid, I donate and that's it. My responsibility is over. No, we, we, our responsibility is not over. Rasulullah so, said, Adinu nasiha. Religion is sincerity, sincere advice. Sahaba says, to whom? Sincerity to whom? Said, call Lillahi wa li kitabihi wa li rasulihi wa li a'immati al-muslimina wa ammatim. To Allah, to his kitab, to his rasul, and wa li a'immati al-muslimin, to the leaders of the Muslims. And for the common people. Leaders. If somebody is running a masjid, somebody is running an organization, they are here to serve you. So they are your leaders. Here you have a responsibility to advise them. Be sincere with them. Not to wait until they fell down and then start criticizing. No. We all are part of this. We all have this responsibility. We have to go and talk to them. When I say this, it is not like you are taking, uh, going to the Tahrir Square. No, it is, it is a mutual understanding. Rahmah, based on mercy. Because they need your services. Yesterday, I was talking to another brother. He is a board member of an organization, Islamic organization. He says that, you know what? People come here for the, to, for, to establish their name only. He is the board member, board member. That's it. After that, you cannot see them until the next AGM. Only two people have to run everything. True. Why? Just to put in the resume that I am the board member of this masjid. If you cannot do a service, set aside. There are other people who can come forward. There could be a young boy. You could be six years old. He could be 10, uh, 20 years old, but he can do a better job than you. Because he can give his time. We need people who can give their time so sincerely. They have to come forward and give their time. And the second responsibility we have is the individual responsibility as a donor. A donor as a volunteer. We give, we all of us are given to the masjids, correct? At least one dollar. We have been donating. Now, once donated, we are done. MashaAllah, I have given my, my sadaqah, my zakat, I'm fine. I feel very happy. I feel good. No, you cannot feel good. You have to make sure that money goes to the exact place where you want, where you want it to be. My dear brothers in Islam, sometimes we have this uh, misunderstanding that halal is only earning. It is not. We have to... Halal is how you spend the money. It is also part of the halal. In the previous hadith, while, uh, another question which Allah will ask in the Day of Judgment is عَنْ مَالِهِ مِنْ أَيْنَ أَخَذَهُ وَفِيمَ أَنْفَقَهُ Allah will ask from you, from where did you get that money and how did you spend? Allah won't ask, where, from where did you get the money? That's it. How did you spend? So here, we have to make sure our hard-earned halal money goes to the correct place. We have to be we are, we are responsible to see the journey where, where that money goes. What kind of impact it make? What kind of change it make in the people? There could be a little child who comes to the uh, Sunday school, Sunday weekend school, he is learning. And the masjid has a responsibility to inform the people, donor, that we have done so much so, so much work from your money. At the same time, the people have to write to know what has been done. Oh, I have made, from my dollar, I have made a change in this life, uh, small child's future. My dear brothers in Islam, let me share with you very interesting statistics. In Canada, nationally, 46% of all registered donations goes to religious charities. 46%. That is approximately about $6 billion annually. Now, to put that amount in context, there are 160,000 charities all over Canada. Out of that, 31,000 is religious charities, churches, masjids, Islamic organizations, etc., etc. If you look, the, if you compare, 31% out of 160,000 means about only 20%, or one-fifth. So one-fifth of these charities takes more than 50% of total donations. Now who said Canada is against religion? Who said? There are so much, 50%, over 50% goes to religious charities. 
This is only CRA registered charities. They, otherwise, they cannot see. There are so many massages which are not registered. They can issue, issue a tax receipt, so CRA cannot uh, count it or, or keep track of. So how much more money we have been giving? <coughs> Why? That's the trust we have. Here we work out of faith. Here we work out of our heart, not our brain, not our mind. We don't think. But here, I'm asking, as an individual, as a donor, we have to use our brain too. That's part of our Islamic responsibility. We cannot say, Alhamdulillah, I have given, and that's it. No. So we have to question, we have to ask. We have to go and check. If it's not there, you can ask the committee. How many of you has come one day to the masjid and asked, how much you raised last week? Can anybody say that? I have asked. Had you asked? Two people asked, third people asked. Put in the pressure. This pressure is good for the organization. Benefit of the organization. The organization should not think that, okay, they are trying to question me. They are going to uh, ruin me. No. This is how the nasiha works. We have to be part of it. We cannot be a silent majority. Put the pressure. So, inshallah, these are, the, what, these are what I wanted to share with you today. And, uh, inshallah, what happened in this Islamic organization last month is a lesson for everybody. We have to put ourselves in the back foot and think what we have to do. Not only defending, not only uh, pointing fingers at other organizations, but we have to think how can we avoid this in the future. For my masjid, for other masjid, and whoever I know. So this message has to be passed on. Whenever you meet people, tell them. Do you go to the masjid? Do you donate? Do you ask where that money was spent? And if you go to the masjid, when the Friday collection is not mentioned, ask them. When the Ramadan collection is not mentioned, ask them. Where is the uh, collection? At least you have done your duty. That pressure is important to go a long way. Wa akhda wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Barakallahu, barakallahu lana wa lakum bil Qur'an al-Azim. Wa nafa'na bil ayat wa dhikla hakeem. Innahu ta'ala jawadun kareemun malikun al-Azim. Barun da'ufur rahim. Wa rabbul halim. Mustaghfiru innahu al-Azim.